Hey guys, today we're uh, taking a look at the RQ4B STL that I've developed. Uh, the RQ4B Global Hawk is a really neat aircraft. It's in, it's immense. It's simply huge, uh, very capable. There's a lot of really neat history if you look into it. Um, this has been used by, I want to say, the Air Force, uh, the Navy, and NASA even has a model that they use to uh, observe hurricanes, weather patterns, that kind of thing. That God knows what else. Um, I absolutely love drones, much to the sh chagrin of my uh, friends, family, ex-girlfriends, that kind of thing. And I'll just talk people's ear off about them. So I just really wanted a uh, STL of, of the Global Hawk. Couldn't find one, so I busted out AC3D and modeled my own. Uh, here you can see that the, the model is pretty accurate to the real thing. I ran it through a, uh, I think, mesh mixer to fix the model and uh, set it up for printing. I sliced it at 0.15 millimeters, which proved to be a little too high for uh, for this particular model. I definitely go at 0.05 or 0.1 millimeters if your printer can handle it. Now the wings on this are to perfect scale with the RQ or Bravo, um, but your print's going to come out absolutely tiny. Here on my duplicator i3. Um, you can see it's almost 11 inches wide, and most of that is just the wing. The fuselage comes out tight. Now, kind of neat, because it's at that 45 degree angle to make the most of the bed, um, the infill lines up with it. So it looks like ribs. So if you can print this in a translucent, maybe like a PETG or glow in the dark filament or something, you'll be able to see those ribs and it'll look almost like uh, structural supports on an aircraft. So I, I had some issues with bed adhesion on the, uh, the left wing, but. The rest of the print is pretty sweet. It's pretty, pretty uh, detailed. Now, uh, I'm not super happy with the, the layer height that I chose, but I'll be uh, sanding and, and spray painting with some filler primer and then repainting it to, to get the best finish possible. I absolutely love this model. I'm going to have to come up with a, uh, a version with the short wings, maybe like a stubby version. And uh, I, think, I think it's going to be a very popular model. And, and I really, I really dig the look, and I hope you will enjoy it too. All right, guys, uh, have a good day, and thanks for watching.